All right, folks, we're moving right along here. We got Python 3 installed. We learned how to access the terminal. Uh, we learned how to access the Python interpreter via the terminal. But one last uh, requirement for this um, tutorial series, you know, learn Python 3 by example, is to have a text editor. Now, if you already have a text editor that you're comfortable with, by all means, use that. Whatever you're comfortable with, use it. If you don't have a text editor or don't even know what a text editor is, it's a place for us to write code. All right. So if you don't have one, I suggest getting Sublime Text for three reasons. First reason is it's free. Anything that's free is great. Uh, two, it's um, fast. And three, it's uh, not bulky. There's not a bunch of uh, bells and whistles getting in your way while you're learning. So. Sublime Text is a great one to learn with. I've been using it since day one of my programming career, and I will continue to use it from this point on in my life. So <clears throat> go to sublimetext.com, go to Downloads, click on Downloads, and then go to your operating system. I'm on uh, OS X, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's asked me to save a file. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to open up my Downloads folder. And right here, I see Sublime Text Build 3114. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And it's going to bring up another window for me to drag uh, Sublime Text into my Applications folder once it gets there. Sorry, it's taking a little longer than I expected. All right, there we go. So just drag Sublime Text into your Applications folder. That adds it in. I'm going to get a warning since I already have it, so I'm just going to replace it. And it's going to go ahead and install it. So, all right, once you get that installed, go to your Applications folder. And to Sublime Text. Open it up. Just make sure it works. If it opens up, you're good to go for the next tutorial. And we'll see you over there at the next tutorial.